Hello everybody, this is ThatMad85 and we are doing a tech chat today. I haven't done one of those in a while and I think we have a couple of good topics that I wanted to talk about. <coughs> uh, so today we're going to be talking about G4 TV. If you don't remember, G4 TV was supposed to be the gaming television channel. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is a little verklempt at the moment, but, um, yes, so this came about around the year 2002, and it was a kind of a premium cable channel that I never got, even though I knew about it, and had always really wanted it because I was way into video games, especially at the time. Um, and it started with some shows like, uh, shows called Players, Portal, Pulse, Blister, a uh, few you might have heard of called like Electric Playground, Cinematech, uh, let's see what else we got here, Cheat, um, yeah, so that, that's where it started out and it was kind of video game news and video game shows that were based around different topics such as using cheat codes and such. Uh, watching people play video games, watching people review video games, finding out new information about video games. Uh, that's, uh, I guess, I mean, like, nowadays there's a lot more places to go for that kind of information. I'm getting situation situated here. So, like, nowadays there's even websites that run, like, live video. And, of course, Twitch that shows people playing video games. Uh, but at the time, Twitch wasn't there. There was some news online, but it wasn't as in-depth because uh, video game journalism was more restricted to magazines, if anything. And uh, there wasn't much video on the internet in general. So G4 TV kind of filled a niche for a lot of people that were interested in uh, their kind of shows. And to follow along their kind of the path of G4 TV, or just G4, it, well, yeah, so let's, uh, let's start with am I excited for G4 to come back. I'm a little interested to see what the heck uh, they're doing, especially now time, nowadays, its uh, purpose doesn't seem to exist anymore. Online there's plenty of video and news. Uh, on Twitch you can watch whoever playing whatever basically. Uh, there's a lot of places you can go for video game news and uh, video and streams and heck even the developers run their own press conferences and release their own information. What What is G4 going to do? And I'm not quite sure. We're all a little hopeful that it goes back to its gaming roots. But yeah, to, to backtrack a little bit from, uh, I told you about kind of how it started and what it was. After about two years, around 2004, it bought out a TV channel called Tech TV. And this is where things get a little weird. I know a lot of people are uh, nostalgic and kind of look at G4 and uh, shaded eyes, I guess, you know, remembering the best that it was and what it could be. But if you're someone more like me, you remember G G4 as being in a, in a different light, really. So there was a channel called Tech TV. It was all about technology. It had its own kind of, uh, some of its own gaming, uh, I guess, segments or uh, programming, including uh, X-Play came from Tech TV. Uh, so at some point, G4 wanted to expand, and it bought out Tech TV. It didn't own two different channels, it combined them into one channel, and for a little bit they were branded as G4 Tech TV. And then I think it got kind of cut down to G4 TV, and then it might have just gone back to G4. So when G4 took over Tech TV, they took some of their content and threw away a lot of their content. They took like X-Play, made it their own, they took what was the screensavers, Fired all of the people from Screen Save the Screen Savers, which one of my favorite shows at the time. So it was very, very sad to see this show get destroyed. And they uh, turned down my volume a little bit. I'm peeking here. So 
Yes, yeah, so they took uh, the people from the screensavers, fired most of them, kept some of the younger, hipper ones, and created a show called the Attack on Attack of the Show, which was very much like screensavers, but then evolved into just a kind of a nerd pop culture show. Um, that did well. Uh, they took X Play, added uh, Morgan Webb, tried to make it a little again a little more younger and hip. That kind of went well for them. They had uh, kind of a video game game show went was going well for them. Uh, they started integrating Japanese culture and uh, into their shows too. Uh, adding some anime, adding shows like Ninja Warrior. Uh, they also started trying to add shows that were a lot like uh, just stuff that was popular at the time. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, they had Unbeatable Banzuki, which was just kind of... Which, uh, okay, so Ninja Warriors, I guess, I think it kind of got its start from uh, MXC, which was on Spike TV, which was uh, taking a Japanese game show, kind of giving it an English dub and letting people watch it. It's it was, it was, it was kind of goofiness. And uh, it did really well. Both of them did really well, actually. And then, uh, so they, so they kind of tried to continue that with a couple other shows, like Unbeatable Banzuki, 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 Banzuki. Uh, but that didn't do as well. Uh, so they kind of stopped going down that path. They had a show like uh, Web Soup, Web Soup, which is kind of like the the soup, except for nerds. Uh, didn't do too well. They had uh, whacked out sports, whacked out videos, just kind of, kind of, I guess, popularizing on uh, YouTube at the time, where people mostly just posted random clips of stuff. Uh, they added Spaceballs, the animated series, which was just kind of uh, R-rated cartoons being and nostalgia being put into the show. So, yeah, kind of what I'm trying to say here is they they. Uh, really got away from their gaming uh, background. They got away from their technology background of tech TV that they uh, bought out. And they went from being a gaming channel, being a technology channel, to kind of being a nerd pop culture channel, which uh, pop culture was just starting to turn towards nerddom to actually be popular instead of something you make fun of. Uh, and then they kind of just went beyond that. I mean, at some point it was basically just uh, Ninja Warrior and Attack on Attack of the Show. Uh, and eventually, yeah, I mean, they kept changing and changing, going further and further away from where they started, what made them a channel that people wanted to watch. And the further away they got, the further their popularity dropped, uh, the less viewers they had, and then eventually they had to close up shop. So why why didn't they, like, backtrack maybe, go back to their roots and start put more game stuff on? I don't really know. I don't really understand. I'm honestly super bitter that with what they did with Tech TV. They, I mean, it, it honestly seems like they bought out Tech TV just specifically to have one or two talents and then X play and then threw everything else away. That was they could have coexisted, they could have tried to just take the one show or something. Maybe lured some of the talent over. But they kind of they took the whole channel and threw it away and Yeah, I'm I'm bitter for that still. Uh a lot of that talent went on to create their own kind of shows and empires uh, at the early days of podcasting and web streaming and they're still doing it honestly if you ever watch uh, This Week in Tech it's still going on and it's still got Leo Laporte who and his connections people that he often had on the TV show the screensavers are call for help that he also did uh, as far as G4 goes it started out with video games video games video games uh nerd culture which I mean I, I still I watched a lot of uh, Ninja Warriors I liked it I kind of watched a lot of Attack of the Show even though I didn't really like it it kind of hit on some of my interests but uh, it also was just a lot of 
trying too hard to be hip with the the cool nerd crowd, I guess. At least too much for me. Um, I hope D4 comes back and they run like esports. This would be great platform for esports to get esports on actual TV. And I heard other people talking about this before. Does esports really need to be picked up on big TV? A lot of times when people have a hobby or something they like, they want it to go mainstream so other people can enjoy it with them. Although, to be honest, when stuff like that goes mainstream, oftentimes people kind of get jaded with, no, you can't like it now. I liked it. I liked it better when it was just a little niche thing instead of everybody else ruining it. But um, with G4... Yeah, esports would be a great place. Uh, a great G4 would be a great place for esports. G4 could have. Uh, I mean, honestly, they could uh, contract some of these uh, streamers that have a ton of followers that uh, get contracted to places like uh, Twitch or Microsoft's uh, whatever Microsoft's version was. I don't even remember what it's called anymore, but they closed it down. Uh, they could contract one of them to do a show, you know, put, make an hour episode uh, for once each day if they want to do it that often. Because, I mean, streamers work each day usually. Uh, or if they want to have a longer show that they do once a week or however they want to do it. They could uh, pick up streamers like that. They could still do a gaming news show. They could hire these video game journalists that are kind of freelance, doing their own thing with their own blogs or podcasts or... Uh, typing for magazines or online websites uh, they could put together a all-encompassing video game channel again and I know companies that sell video games they want they want the market they want people's eyes there and then they want to be on that market and if you can make something if you can hype it up if you can get those eyeballs you can get people interested you could have these video game companies wanting to use you to show off their uh, new products, their new platforms. And if you have that, uh, you'll have the content you need to generate the advertising that uh, pays for the channel. So let's, let's look at it um, hopeful. Maybe G4 will come back and be what what it should have been, what it could have been, what it maybe even started as, uh, and hope that they don't devolve down the same tunnel that they did last time, that they don't make the same mistakes they did last time. And if somebody wants to bring back a new uh, tech TV channel, that would be uh, perfectly good with me too. Anyways, let me know in the... Uh, comments if you're watching this on YouTube what you think of G4 how you're expecting it to be what you remember of the old G4 or if you remember tech TV uh, let me know what you think I think this is an interesting topic and something to look forward to and maybe once we have more information on it I can share it with you guys anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon on another tech chat with uh, that Matt 85